What's up guys, it's Hammerdown48 coming at you today. It is week two. As you guys know, the Detroit Lions is playing the New York Giants. And I tell you what guys, <laughs> I'm excited for this game. I I'm very, very excited for this game. Um, this game is very important. Very important. Because there's a couple reasons. One... It's Monday night game. It's a prime time game. The whole world is going to be watching this game. So we got to play good. The second thing is this is another upcoming pretty good team. Now last week, and I will explain this here in just in a couple minutes, last week the Giants did not look very good. And I will explain that here in just a moment. So, we're going to get into this. Um, this is, is going to be another good game. Another good game for the Detroit Lions coming into New York. So, on the matchup predictor, the Detroit Lions is not favored in this game. I disagree. I disagree, and I will explain that in just one second. The Giants is favored... On the matchup predictor, 58.3% to win this game. And the Detroit Lions, 41.3%. Here's the reason why I disagree. Well, here's the thing. We, didn't, we don't know if Odell Beckham, uh, the wide receiver for the New York Giants, is going to play in this game. Last week, he did not play. And the way I'm looking at it is of right now, I believe that if Odell Beckham Jr. Do not, does not play in this game against the Lions, I think the Lions will win this game. I think they, the Lions have this game if Odell don't play. Now, it sounds like he's going to play. We don't know yet. But if he does end up playing this game against the Lions, I think we could have a challenge. Which I kind of like, and I kind of don't like. But, if he does play, I think it could be a challenge because look what happened last week. Um, with him not being there last week, it was, it was hard for the Giants to go down the field. Odell Beckham is a good wide receiver for that team. They need him. So I think that's why they struggled last week against Dallas. This week, we don't know yet. Um, the Another good thing that I'm looking at is the only way we're going to win this game, either way, either if Odell Beckham's not playing or not, either way, is Matthew Stafford has to come out of the, come out of the gate first quarter and start firing we got to start firing start making a point to to this team and ourselves that we are the team to beat in the NFC North we cannot come into this game like we did last week in the first quarter and play like shit <laughs> and, and, and throw an interception in the first first minute of the game I believe if we can Come in the first quarter and score the first touchdown of the game or a second touchdown, depending who gets the ball. I say if the Lions get the ball first, we have to score a touchdown. We have to start firing in the first quarter. I think we'll be okay if we can do that. Now, another thing is defense. I think defense is going to have to show up again. Uh, we, we did pretty well last week. We got to get to Eli Manning. I mean, especially if Odell Beckham's playing. If Odell Beckham's playing, we got to get to Eli so he can uh, uh, um, throw that ball quick and we can uh, end up sacking him. So um, I'm going to go through a couple uh, matchups here. Matthew Stafford, like last week, is right now 29 over 41 with 292 yards, four touchdowns, one interception. Eli Manny is 29 over 38 with 220 yards and one interception. 
Uh, rushing. Uh, um, the New York side. Uh, Perkins. 7 carries, 16 yards. Uh, Amir Abdul. 15 carries, 30 yards. And the receiving wide receiver in. Golden Tate, 10 receptions, 107 yards. And Lewis for the Giants, 4 receptions, 54 yards. Um, with the injury report, it sounds like uh, Jared, I can't say his last name for us, wide receiver inactive, not worried about it. Uh, our punter, injury, re injury reserve. Uh, Corey Robinson, injury reserve. Golden Tate is questionable. I see him still playing the game. Uh, I seen he, he had a splint on his ring finger. I believe that's what I read. He's got a splint. I think he'll be okay. I, he should be fine to play uh, against the game. Um, so I even started him in fantasy. So and then is uh, Anza is questionable. We definitely need him. Hopefully he'll be uh, up and ready. Uh, for the New York game. So, I'm excited. I think, like I said, I think the only way we're going to win this game on primetime Monday Night Football is we got to come out firing. We got to come out and, and represent and show that the Detroit Lions are not playing around this year. They're not playing around. And uh, we got to do what we did not, you know, we can't be doing what we did what we uh, what we did against the Arizona Cardinals the first quarter because we know we already know Matthew Stafford can come in the clutch and, and when you're behind games when Matthew Stafford's behind games he comes in the clutch and wins games we already know that but what happens if you were in the first quarter and you came out firing maybe you won't be behind in a game like that. Like every situation that we're in, so you gotta take that. You gotta take that and, and look at it that way. If you come out out of the gate and score touchdowns in the beginning, you might not be behind at the end. So, I would like to see the running game open up. Last week, the running game was not very well. Um, could not create holes. Amir Abdul couldn't get through them. Running game was not very well. I like to see the running game open up a lot. Against Monday Night Football against the Giants, um, I think Matthew Stafford's probably going to have about two touchdowns, maybe one. I'd like to see two. I know I gave him a lot more credit last week's game. I think this week game we just because we just we don't know right now. I just I still think the Lions will win this game. I really do. And I tell you what, if we can win this game, baby, we're <laughs> We're rolling. I think we're going to be great if we can win this game. It's a, This is a big game. Primetime game. Monday night game. We got to come prepared for this game. And if we don't come prepared for this game, we're going to look like fools on national television. And we, we don't want that. We don't want that. We want to show that we are the team for the NFC North. We are here to compete in a playoff spot. We're ready. We're, we're hungry. We are hungry to show teams like New York, Dallas, Green Bay, Seattle, all these other teams that are very good. We're ready to show them that we're not ready. We're, we're, we're done fucking around. We're here to win. We're here to show that we have the team and the potential to win a, uh, win a NSC North. So, like I said... It's, I think it could be a good close game. We'll, we'll see what the defense and and, and um, special teams, all that stuff. I, I'm pumped up. Uh, Going to do a live stream after the game, so make sure you watch the live stream after the game on Monday night. Um, so, like I said, if you like this video, hit the like sub button. Uh, let me see in your comments below. If you're not a subscriber yet, subscribe. The subscribers are jumping, man. I like it. Keep subscribing, share this channel, whatever you got to do. Give me those subscribers. So, like I said, let's go Lions. Let's go to Detroit Monday night. Let's get this fucking win. And, um, man, this is going to be 
exciting game if we can win. I think it's going to be a great game. So I'm ready to watch it. Sucks that's a Monday night game. Got to wait extra day, but you know you got to do what you got to do. So thank you guys for watching. This is Hammer Down 48 coming at you with another um, review preview of this game. So like I always say, one pride. Go Detroit Lions.